What is up people, it's BrianManEverSeeIt.com and today we'll be talking about three easy steps to get more leg drive in your overhead press. Now whether you're a competitive strongman or you're just interested in putting more heavy things above your head, these are going to help you a lot. Now if you missed my previous video on the strict overhead press, a lot of the cues are going to be the same. So you should go back and check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I'm going to do my best not to repeat myself, so I'm going to give you three totally new ideas for ways to drive up those numbers. Step number one is probably the most important and that is getting the bar out of your hands. Alright guys, so what you're going to see here is me setting up for a strict press because the bar is in my hands and my elbows are directly underneath the bar. That's perfectly fine if you're just going to push with nothing but your shoulders, but what we're talking about today is getting leg drive involved in the overhead press. The major issue you're going to run into here, if the bar is still in your hands and you're trying to apply leg drive, is that there's not a foundation for that bar to take off from. As you guys see, when the bar is in my hands right here, as I dip down, the bar continues down. Object in motion, stay in motion, then when you try to reverse it, the bar ends up going outward instead of upward. So if you want to make the most of your leg drive, you need to get the bar supported by bone. As you can see here, I walk it out just like a front squat. The bar is not even in my hands, it's just kind of balanced on top of my fingers. All of that weight is supported on my anterior delts, which is a lot more stable than just sitting in my hands. Now when you look at the side view, you can see that it's supported by bone and there is no dip or wiggle room after I drive into the bar with my legs. So you're going to set this up the exact same way you would a front squat. You're going to dig your arms underneath so that the bar is supported on your shoulders and it's just kind of resting on your fingers there for balance. Then you're going to fortify that stability by spreading your lats and flexing your butt, then getting a huge belly breath, bracing down, and then start your drive. Step number two is going to be all about your leg drive and pushing your knees outward so that the bar doesn't collapse forward so that all that force that you're applying can go upward instead of out. Alright, so now we're talking about the direction and the speed of your actual dip and drive. This is a small fix that makes a huge difference. If you're holding anything in the front rack position and you bend your knees forward in your leg drive, your torso is going to collapse forward and that bar is going to go out instead of up. So you're wasting energy. You guys can see here my knees go forward, my torso leans, and it makes for a harder press. So instead, push your knees outward on your leg drive, almost to the point where it feels like you're hitting the outside edges of your feet. If you look at my back position, I can stay much more erect when I push my knees out as opposed to forward. The bar can stay supported by the bone of my anterior delts, and then drive straight up so that all the energy I'm creating with my force goes into that bar and drives above my head. And now we're going to talk about the speed of your leg drive. If you guys are going to jump up onto a box or jump up and try to touch a basketball hoop, you're not going to drop as slowly as possible and then try to explode out of it. You just can't build as much explosiveness. The faster you go down, the faster you come up. This isn't a big deal with small weights, but you guys have all seen videos of yourselves when things get heavy, you try to drop super slow and then explode up, but it doesn't work. Just remember that a little bit of leg drive can go a long way if it's done quickly. Dip as fast as you can so you can reverse as fast as you can for more power output. Step number three is all about the throw and catch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will right after this. All right, this one's gonna be a little harder to conceptualize. So you guys can see right there, the bar is sitting on top of my anterior delts and it's just kind of resting in my fingers. Very little press is actually happening. What's going on is my legs are driving so hard that the force is traveling up through the top of my shoulders, flying into that bar, and literally throwing it off of me. So I'm actually going to show you a couple examples here where there's no press at all. Those two I didn't press, these I don't even have my hands on the bar. And you can see how high the bar comes off my shoulders. All that I'm doing after that is dropping a second time to catch the bar. That's the throw and catch that I'm talking about. If you can do this correctly and you can actually apply the force from your legs into that bar, it will throw it over top of your head. Then either you can finish it off with a push press or you simply bend your legs again and you drop under and catch. If you choose to do the catch, I'm going to try to walk you through what your legs are going to do. So they're going to start at 100% locked out with your butt tight. Then you're going to bend to 90%, drive up to about 95%, and then drive right back down to 90% to re-catch. 
You cannot drive your legs to 100% on the leg drive or else you won't be able to rebend. You start out locked, your legs go to 90%, 95, 90. And then you catch, stand up, and lock it out. I know it's a tough concept to get, guys, but once you do it, you will automatically add pounds to your press. And here's just a couple reps of me put it together. I get my lats tight, flex my butt, big belly breath, drive it off my shoulders, throw it up, drop back under and catch. You'll see it all really fast. If you do it correctly, you feel like you didn't have anything in your hands at all. It's stable on my shoulders, I push my knees out to drop down, I throw it off my shoulders, I drop back underneath, catch. Promise you guys, bigger numbers will come for you. All right guys, there you go. There's three easy tips to help you drive up your numbers on overhead press. Those three tips made a huge difference in my overhead press, and if you guys apply them, I can just about guarantee they'll help you out too. Just to recap real fast, you need to get the bar out of your hands and supported by bone. You want to put as much leg into your overhead press as you possibly can. And if the bar is in your hands, it doesn't have a stable platform to push off of. So when you drive upward, your arms come down, the bar doesn't move as quickly. If it's supported by bone, you'll be able to drive a lot more weight above your head. Point number two was to push your knees outward and to keep your dip and drive fast. Pushing your knees outward allows you to stay more upright, which means when your legs drive into that bar, the force goes into the bar instead of other places, which means I have your overhead press. Point number three is throw and catch. The first part of your leg drive throws the bar off your shoulders, and then the second one is where your body drops underneath, you catch the bar above head. That instantly is gonna give you more pounds on your overhead press. And don't forget that the sooner you get your head through that window, the better off you're gonna be. It's how you get horsepower back into the bar. Anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful, and if you're looking for more strict press cues, I made that video like two weeks ago, just go back and search for it. That goes a lot more in depth with opening the window, pushing your head out, those things. If you guys found this helpful and you like the work that I'm doing here on the channel, go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and click subscribe. I know you want to. I do appreciate you watching. Go out, do awesome things with your life, keep working hard, and I'll catch up with you next time.